just these remnants of old industrial complexes where all the mines used to Oops, no, don't destroy it. Where all the mines used to be. Apparently there's no way of cancelling a destroy. So be it. Food production's fine. Rubber we don't produce anyway. Timber we're actually a little bit short now. Um, still pretty cheap to import. Petroleum we're short. That's fine. Coal we're ahead. Metal we're short. Alright, so that really shows how our in industry is taking off. But I am okay with this. The French are really trying to help me cut the French advance off down here, so I'm okay with that too. And we're making a lot of money. Military facility complete. I'm going to assume that that, that, that was this one. Yes, it was! Haha! <laughs> the Dutch can into the sea. So, escort ship. We were going to go with the O'Brien, right? 150, 140, 142. 13 kilometers spotting, 13 kilometers, 13 kilometers. A patrol boat's better at spotting, probably. 13, 13, 13. Nope. I'm not going to bother with patrol boats. I'm going to go for O'Brien's because they have the best uh, ship to ship combat. I'm going to build five of them. 140 days. Ugh. Do I want to build a second naval yard? It'll cost most of my stock of ammunition, so no. We can do that in the interwar period. Oh, the United States is in. 6th of April, 1917. Allied with uh, France and Britain. We're going to support that one because we want to keep them friendly. And we're just going to say okay to everything else. And then United States, how about some of our own diplomatic overtures, eh? Buddy, old chap, old thing, old bean. Oh, I still had some outstanding stuff there. So you don't want crimin criminal extradition. How about non-aggression? Nope. How about line of sight? Nope. How about do you go screw yourself? Because you're just going to be taking territory which is rightfully mine now. Hey Charles. <laughs> just got here. Why, why and more why? Because uh, Germany declared war on me. That is a lot of artillery. Berlin is going to be a pain to take. Uh, oh, more wars. Cuba's declared war on Germany. Panama's declared war on Germany. Actually, Cuba's really friendly to me. Why? Where are you? There you are. Would you like to sell me some guns? Do I need guns? I don't really need guns anymore. Oh, wow, Cuba really likes us. Ah, now the USA would accept all this stuff. Apparently I'm just a little bit too quick on it. We'll try and get the formal alliances after this, so... Yeah, we're getting new friends. Oh man, we can see the Americans now. <laughs> Hi, America! You don't want a formal alliance. That I'm not surprised by. At least we have all the other alliances, so we're pretty chill. I'm not bothering missile defense because why? How does peace work in this game? It works in that whatever you control is yours, which is why I'm really pissed off about this bit, because as soon as we make peace, France takes that, even though it's mine. Because Germany took it and then France took it off of Germany rather than it flipping back to me. Although it is still loyal to me. I don't know if they would give stuff that's loyal to an ally back again. I'm not an ally, that's the problem. If we had allied victory, I would get it back. But they refuse to make this alliance. Alright, we are going to launch another attack on Hanover. And we're going to be using just Minervas for this, because they have far better anti-artillery coverage. 
but apparently still take an absolute pounding. There's just too many of them. This is my own artillery firing back, but... You know what? Just go ahead and bombard them. Research is still going. We still have some military goods, though our massive stock is dwindling quickly. Such is the nature of this game. Um, I still have a cavalry, don't I? Yes, I do. Can you sneak in a bit closer and get a good look at Hanover and basically act as a uh, artillery spotter? I wonder if motorcycles can see further. Can you see further? Uh, you can see 29 kilometers to the cavalry is 29. No, they're just quicker. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> there guys saw me before I could see them. Just stay there and repair. Right, the French are coming this way for some reason. I kind of wish that this wasn't French either, because then I could take Hamburg, cross over here, and steal the uh, shipyards in Kiel. And that would solve a lot of problems. Alright, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to build a supply depot out here. Build, military, right at the bottom, supply depot, 56 million, Eesh. we have the money though, and we have, probably have the industrial goods to pay for it. Alright, another significant offensive being planned here. We're going to send in the Minervas first to absorb the majority of the artillery fire. And then a big wave of infantry afterwards. So the infantry are going to hold out here. Which should be just out of range of their artillery. And once the infantry have arrived there, the Minervas go in. Unfortunately, we are almost out of artillery uh, ammo already. Because these things are sodding expensive. Meanwhile, how's the ship production coming? 125 days. Here we go. Yeah, unfortunately, this town does not help matters. Back off. It would be nice if they ran out of ammo. <laughs> Unfortunately, that does not look like it's going to happen anytime soon. And my Minervas are getting absolutely pounded to pieces, especially in that spot. I 
think they're out of ammo. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. They are still doing a silly amount of damage. Nope. Everyone back off. Everyone back off. Go, go, go. Ah! No, don't kill my infantry. Not again. Run away! Run away! Oh, you are so nearly safe. Right, you should be safe now. We lost one man instead of the six last time. But look how short on life they are. Jeez. All right. So clearly these frontal assaults are not working. My gut is telling me this. And we're also going to be out of raw materials now to continue assaulting in that way. Um... Some of the Americans are getting pretty close. They should be arriving soon. And actually having the American Navy coming in is going to be useful because that will hopefully be able to do some damage to the German Navy, making it even easier for me to take, own my, take back my own bloody coastline. Although the downside is I'll never take this back. Or this. Oh wow, the Russians are doing it again. But with an actual path over to Berlin. But Berlin is so unbelievably well defended. <laughs> like if we think it's hard to take over um, Hanover, then Berlin's going to be even worse. Oh no, it's my gut telling me this. The guts of my soldiers don't matter. This is the First World War after all. Lions led by donkeys. I guess that makes me an ass. Alright, are my troops getting the repairs that they require? <laughs> Think of his great grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're out of material again. You are trying to sell me a lot of things for a negative in money. I actually have a fair amount of cash right now. So I think we're going to try and. Wow, these loans have gotten pretty big. 46 million. Yeah, we're going to repurchase a bunch of these bonds. Back down to 80. That's fine. <clears throat> and we'll let America do some of the heavy lifting for a change. Kind of looks like the Entente is attacking with renewed vigour now, though. In fact, we're about to get a cutoff here. Is this a cutoff I can assist you with? Probably. I'm just amazed by how badly Germany's doing. Like Austria is at least more or less holding their borders, but Germany's it's, it's just given up. <laughs> he told you the attack was a total disaster. That yeah, I can't really deny that. <laughs> there is no way of denying that one. 
At least I've learned from my mistakes and I'm not just going to order it again. I mean, twice was enough. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Watch it! And the military good shortages don't help because I have a bunch of repairs to do. Uh, speaking of which, yo, Murka. Do you happen to have a surplus? You do. Magnifique. Unfortunately, you're not willing to sell me any anymore. At all. The Germans have dug in. They've realised they can't win offensively. Maybe, but there's a lot of areas of this world where they could quite easily counterattack and retake. Hamburg being one. Like, I'm not guarding it. The French are barely guarding it. Uh, retaking this stuff. Like, the Russians aren't even over here at all. It's just empty. Here come the Austrians. Unfortunately, they've arrived just as my Minerva's arrive. <laughs> cavalry versus armoured go-karts. It's not going to end well for the cavalry. Oh, wow, that's a lot of Austrians. Let's beat them in the open. Go, 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 go. Oh, man, it's a slaughter. That was a massacre. Well, I think that's it for the Austrians for a while. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, we'll finish you off. Ooh, supply down here is a problem. Big problem. We're in a position to sell, get rid of one of those. Italy wants to sell me petroleum. Very well. Terrible uh, rate, but it's fine. Lower Warden's losing garrisons. Can you please stop bombarding me? Like, can someone do something about those German dreadnoughts off the Dutch coast? I mean, seriously. It's getting a little bit ridiculous, guys. is my debt right now 1.6 billion compared to Canada's 3.8 billion and the Dutch East Indies 2 billion how are you so high in debt you're not even fighting the war when do I get my boat I don't <laughs> Because I have no raw materials anymore. No military goods. Uh, is there anything else I can take apart which costs military goods? Barracks, I guess. Land production facilities, I... Do they? Alright, let's have a look at the uh, military build list. Fortifications definitely do. And quite a lot. Gun emplacements, I don't think anyone's actually built. Airfields have a couple. Air production, I don't even have. Air bases... A couple barracks. A couple, not many. Piers. Yeah, not many. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this and I'm going to go to airfields. I have three airfields which are pointless because I don't have aircraft, but I'm going to keep them for the future. I'm just going to turn them off so I'm not paying for them. 
Uh, air bases, same thing, but I have no aircraft. Air production, no. Barracks, I have five barracks. Do I have any barracks which are really close to each other? Eh, not particularly. I'm actually kind of happy keeping those barracks around. Fortifications, I have no fortifications left. Gun emplacements, no. Land production, I have three of those. I kind of want to keep them though. I have two sea piers, both of them. Oh no, there's one there. No, I don't think it's going to do me any good. So really it's just going to be up to scrounging some more resources from all of my buddies around the world. I'm paying exorbitant prices for it. Oh, China has quite a few. That's good. Uh, USA, you definitely don't want to sell me any. Nope. So be it. Uh, who else is big? South Africa? Uh, Mexico usually has some. I keep forgetting Mexico. I'm sorry, Mexico. I'll buy that. Check out the other Central Americans, just in case. No, not really. Cuba? Might. Oh yeah, Cuba does. Panama does. Not worth it. Like, there's a 2 million minimum. And when you're only buying in 50 uh, raw mats, it's not really particularly worthwhile. Alright, let's repay another loan, because we seem to be making a lot of money right now. And that does kind of beg the question of how. <laughs> consumer goods, five million a day in consumer goods. Okay, we have got commercial refrigeration. Uh, let's get electrocardiology, just so we can say we have it. Because we're ready focusing quite heavily on the military technologies so I think this will be totally fine and how are we doing in terms of this we still have 400 so production of our ship should have continued again and we have actually taken worms interesting I'm just taking this land so we can grab it for supply purposes. And of course there are a bunch of artillery here. Yes, there would definitely be a French army on the... Sorry, German army on the French border. I don't particularly want to waste many resources getting it. Much rather the French and the uh, the, the British and the Americans. Have we actually seen any Americans arrive in Europe yet? Nope. One or two ships, but that's it. Oh, wars. Lots of them. 
Greece declared war on Germany, and the Ottomans, and Bulgaria, and Austria. Wow, Greece really likes us. Oh, hi, Greece. I think I need to wait today. Make more free trade agreements with the world if you can. Um, yeah. Alright. And Romania too. Successful with Greece. Excellent. Alliance? No. Nobody wants alliances. We've done it. We've got this off. Uh, 